Morning, fearless fam. You know, I'm in a good mood this morning because the first thing I did when I got up was come and sit at my desk with a cup of coffee and write a list of what I'm doing today. But the reason I picked up the camera right now in particular is because something very exciting is about to happen. So when I click right here, it says I have 999 subscribers. 999. So we about to be refreshing. You know what I've noticed too is, if you're a vlogger, you might've noticed this. On your like page, it'll say a subscriber count, but that count is usually slower to update than the one when you click up here. So when I want an accurate count of how many people are subscribing, I click this little icon, it's loading, and I'm watching Daily Bumps. <laughs> Who's gonna be my thousandth subscriber? Maybe if I post on Twitter, Oh my gosh, and meanwhile, Psycho Traveler has almost 100,000. Congrats, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Way to go, Allie. I don't feel that her like landmark is more important than mine. I think every single like milestone that you hit when you're vlogging is really a really big deal. But Allie has been working on this for so long. She works so hard, so I'm, I'm really excited for her. If you're not subscribed to Psycho Traveler, you should go do that. Abe's whining because he's sad that I'm not paying attention to him. Subscribercounter.com. I'm looking for Lauren without fear. Woo! I'm gonna make a Facebook post too. We go and recruit fearless fan members right now. Does anyone else use the stimping tool? Cause it's like the best thing ever. Okay, I posted on Facebook and I posted on Twitter. Let's see. I'm also working on getting a vlog up right now. Oh, that's flattering. You're behind the scenes at Lauren without fear right now, y'all. I'm so impatient right now. We are the champions, my friend. Uh, you guys, oh my god. I hit a thousand subscribers. Ooh, do, 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 do. You know what that means to me though? It's, it's less that like I hit a thousand and more that like our fearless fam has grown to a thousand people. I'm so happy. Welcome to the family thousandth subscriber. I'm so excited. <sighs> so happy. No one unsubscribe or else I'm going to cry. <laughs> That's exciting. That's really exciting. Anyways, I have to get back to work. I'm actually working on a very exciting um, announcement and kind of a new project that I'm starting and I've been thinking about for a long time, but it's kind of kind of coincides with my thousand subscriber giveaway. So I gotta work on it now because we just hit a thousand. So I gotta film my giveaway video and I gotta launch this project. It's a crazy day. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm vlogging on my phone and there's a dog barking at me. It's like a really cute dog though because it has one of those ears that like sits on top of its head all sideways. I just wanted to say, Today's already feeling like a much better day than the last few days. Um, I feel like the sun is brighter, people are happier. It's so funny how when you try to get yourself into a positive state of mind, everything changes. It's like the cutest fire station ever. This is so adorable. Ape, are you happy too? He's smiling. Ape, good boy. So you know how I've been having a lot of trouble with health insurance stuff? <sighs> right now I'm starting a two mile walk, because Eric has the car, to the social services office so that I can go get my healthcare stuff taken care of. I've probably spent three hours on the phone with Covered California and <laughs> I can't believe I have to spend like a total hour of walking to get there. I could take the bus but it's going to take just as long and I'd rather just get the exercise. <sighs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Hopefully we can get everything settled, take care of everything. And I'll have health insurance. I'm not trying to get out of paying anything. I just can't afford the quotes that are showing up with no assistance online. So we'll see what happens. Oh, and when I said that it's gonna take me an hour, I meant round trip. <laughs> but I'm kind of looking at this like a hike now. So let's do a traditional time lapse for my urban hike. towards health coverage continues. 
<sighs> so ridiculously annoying. Okay, so I'm smiling because the woman who helped me was so, so, so kind. I'm like, how do you stay so positive and awesome when you work in like a county social services office? I'm just so impressed. I don't know her name, but she's awesome, whoever you are. She's very inspiring to me. She's just so happy. So I finished what I had to do. This is my fourth application, but this one was done with paper. So I'm crossing my fingers that that was the trick. In the US, it's illegal to not have health insurance but it's incredibly expensive unless you qualify for assistance. And the process is nightmarish, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. Now I need to mail out my car registration. What an exciting day. And I've had problems with them too. So my packet is like five times bigger than your average like car renewal. It has all the information that I've been trying to send them. I kid you not, for nine months. They suspended my registration. I sent two emails, I made a phone call, and nothing happened. They told me I was doing everything right, so I don't know why, but technically, right now, it's illegal for me to have my car in California at all. So it's kind of stupid, but I'm not worried about it. It sounds so crazy, though. I literally printed out all my insurance documents for my car, dating back to before they suspended my registration, and I put notes on each one and highlighted the dates, showing I've never had a lapse in insurance, so that they will revoke their original mistake. Steak. I don't know if it's like this in all countries, but when you deal with US government offices, this is kind of how it goes. People tend to like hate their job and not be very good at it, but like that one lady back there, she was so cool. She's so awesome. I don't know if it's a difference between going in versus being on the phone. Could be it, but let's see how the post office is. I'm just gonna talk to the camera like this because I know the audio will be absolute dog shit otherwise, so. And you see enough of my face. USPS? went very quickly because kind of machine that printed out stamps. Ooh, mushrooms. 2.1 miles, it took me 37 minutes. I'm on that walk, the exact walk, the opposite direction, on my way home. Gotta play with Abe, wash some clothes in the sink, and then I gotta work on my super secret project. You'll find out in a couple days, don't worry. Now I gotta go into the store to find some envelopes so I can mail my car registration form. So I just got home and I discovered something very interesting happening in the bathroom. We have some like leaky plumbing that they're gonna work on fixing someday. And it's usually makes noise, like you can hear it now. But it was particularly loud when I came home and look. Uh, I know exactly why it's a milky white in there. So today and yesterday, we've had a painter coming in to paint the garage area. He just finished up what he had to do and this is the sink he left behind. He's a really awesome guy, but seriously? So the sink is like full of watery paint, basically, or painty water, if you will. And it looks like it's backing up in other areas of the house. So this is turning into a bit of a problem. Don't really know what to do. I don't know, I don't wanna freak out the landlord because she's coming tomorrow. I called the landlord, I'm just waiting on a call back about the whole paint in the water situation. Next task is hand washing some things in the sink because our washer and dryer are not set up yet. So I've taken it a step back even from Beijing. This was soapy and hot, but I've already washed something in it, so now it's not, but I'm using tongs, sorry mom, to kind of move it around in like super hot water that's like too hot for my hands uh, with a little tiny bit of laundry detergent. And um, then I'm kind of, I'm rinsing it off and then drying it out and I'm gonna hang it in the sun room to dry. I think that's a perfect place to hang clothes. Be the washing machine. I am the agitator. <laughs> I'm just using tongs to like agitate things in here. It's gonna get really hard when I have to wash a pair of jeans in this tiny bowl though. <laughs> Eric originally thought his class was at one o'clock today and it was actually at 3.30. <laughs> so he has been on campus like all day and he was gonna make dinner, but now he's gonna be back too late to make dinner. So I am making the meal that is usually his specialty and I feel very inadequate in doing this, but let's give it a shot. I'm making Eric's famous beans. It's simmering! Yay, it's simmering! This is jalapenos, garlic, and onion. I need to saute it in this pan and then add it 
to this. It's taking all my strength to not add salt to this right now. Because apparently you're not really supposed to add any salt to the beans until they've already gotten to their ideal softness level. So normally I would add salt to this to get the water to come out quicker, but I'm not supposed to. Fine, Eric, I'll follow your rules. Yum, I just added cumin and chili powder and it smells so good in here. Mmm, I want tacos now. Veggies are in the beans. I have clothes hanging up outside. I made iced tea. Now the beans are gonna simmer for about two hours. <laughs> and I have to check on them like every 10 minutes. <coughs> I love spices in here. <laughs> Before I start chillaxing, I'm gonna play with Abe a little bit. I'm kind of tired, I'm kind of pooped actually. Long walk, I got a lot done this morning. Still got a lot more to do, but I'm happy. I'm in a really good mood. It feels good to be productive, it really does. Um, also, I have to open like all my windows because we don't have a vent yet, which is I think illegal, but we're rolling with it for now. Single play? If any of you guys have hair that's similar to mine, please tell me what you do to it. Like to not be super bothered when it's down. Cause lately I've just been using argan oil and John Frieda's dream curls. So comment below if you have similar hair, please. And I don't know how you take care of it. Cause I'm just like, <sighs> I'm going through a period of like, I don't really like my hair right now. Maybe I should just cut it short and see what happens. Okay. I gotta go work on my super secret project now. Bye. I'm watching Bob Ross. And Abe is cuddling with me. He just got his body all tucked in so cute. The beans last night turned out really, really well. They were really good. So I'm proud of myself. But I don't want that to be like my specialty. I already have enough specialty dinners. That's Eric's thing still. But I just wanted to say before I end today's vlog that I'm so excited for what this community has become. I love, love the fearless fam it's it's all been kind of an organic growth process all i really knew before i started this whole journey was that i'm really passionate about building community and this whole idea of living your life to the fullest but dealing with anxiety like crossing that bridge between those two life states that's been a really big important thing in my life i want to live my life to the fullest and not let anxiety stand in the way and i want to be i want to inspire you guys if i can like you guys help me by holding me accountable for not letting anything get me down or get in the way of what i really want to do so thank you guys for everything and i'm so excited to see where the fearless fam is next year the fearless fam has only existed for like i don't know like six months and we're already at a thousand people so i'm really 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 grateful and so happy if you're wondering about the 1k giveaway and the announcement of my super secret project that is going to be coming to you in just a couple days so stay tuned for all that thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow okay bye